send WooCommerce order confirmation on WhatsApp to customers and vendors automatically. So assume that you are selling the product of multiple vendors on your e-commerce store and whenever the order is placed by the customer, you want to automatically send an order confirmation message automatically on his WhatsApp to the customers, informing that that we have received their order and at the same time you want to inform to the product vendor that hey your product has just got sold from our e-commerce store. So if you also want to automate the process of whatsapp message sending come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so here i'm going to show you how you can automatically send two different whatsapp messages to two different people one is to the vendor of the store and another one is to the customer of the store and here we will be sending the messages on two different whatsapp numbers all right and for sending these whatsapp messages i will use this interact application it is an amazing application for sending the whatsapp messages because it has the access of official whatsapp cloud api okay Okay, and here you can notice that I have created my e-commerce store basically my marketplace into this WooCommerce application and I have the vendors data into this spreadsheet you can notice that I am selling the product of multiple vendors whose data is available in the spreadsheet now you must be thinking that how i am going to automate this whatsapp messaging process okay so basically i am going to build a connection in this interact application and in this woocommerce application and lastly in this google sheets application and this is how i am going to automate this process and for the connection i will use this pabli connect well it is an amazing integration and automation software and using this application one can easily connect to multiple applications and automate your task and here you can notice that i am already logged in into this pabli connects dashboard because i am an existing user you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard you'll have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm going to provide the name something like send order confirmation on whatsapp to vendor and customer you can provide any random name now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you all right so these are actually trigger and action so here trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application all right so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever a new order is placed into this woocommerce application then automatically send a confirmation message to the customer as well as to the vendor via interact application all right so this is how i am going to select this woocommerce and interact application in this trigger and action window okay now the idea here is i'll have to build a connection in this woocommerce and a pabli connect once and after that i'll connect pabli connect with the interact okay so firstly you will have to select the trigger event so i want that whenever the new order is created into my store this automation should trigger or you can say the details should be captured in this pabli connect dashboard all right so how i can build this connection basically with the help of this webhook url okay so for the connection the instructions are already provided okay so read them carefully and firstly you will have to copy this webhook url all right so here you can see i have already copied the same and it has started waiting for the webhook response okay so firstly i will take you to my woocommerce application all right and here i will visit this setting section okay this is the setting section after that you'll have to search for the advanced section let me show you that so this is the advanced section click on that and here exactly we will be creating a new webhook all right i'll show you how you can do that all right so here is an option of webhooks i have clicked on that simply click on add webhook button and here exactly we will be creating a new webhook 
so provide any random name to this webhook data so i will provide the name something like connection with interact okay i have provided the name in the status you will have to change it as active and in the topic you will have to select the same trigger event basically the same topic that is order created all right so here we have the same topic as we have selected inside our public connected dashboard that is order created okay coming back to my application and here we will be pasting the same webhook url which we have received via public connect now simply click on save webhook button and here you will notice that the webhook will be saved here successfully all right so here you can see webhook updated successfully now coming back to my public connect dashboard and here you can see a blank response is initiated okay so firstly you will have to click on this recapture webhook response button once again and after that read the instructions what it is saying that log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new order into our woocommerce store so that is why i am going to open my e-commerce store and then i am going to place a dummy order in front of you from this store so that the details of the order can be captured inside our public connected dashboard for which it is already waiting all right so this is my e-commerce store and i am going to place a dummy order all right so what if i place i purchased this particular mobile phone that is one plus ten okay so i have added it into the cart now clicking on proceed to check out and then I will provide some dummy details of the person. Alright, so I have provided the demo details. The first name of the person is demo. The last name is customer. Demo customer and here we have provided. I have provided the company name also. I have also provided the city, the state, the pin code, the phone number. Again, it is just a dummy phone number. And don't worry, I will replace this number with the genuine one when I am about to send the real WhatsApp message. And here I have also provided the email address that is admin at the rate publitude.com. And now i am going to place this order and you will see as soon as the order is placed in this store the same order details will be collected via public connects dashboard and here you can notice that the response is received and if i will show you the details one by one you will be able to notice that these are the same details all right so here we have the same state the same postcode and here we have the name of the customer that is demo customer here we also have the country with address and here we also have the product details all right so here we have the same price of the product and we also have the name of the product all right so the connection in between our pably connect and woocommerce is working absolutely fine now i want to inform the vendor that here your product has got sold and at the same time i want to inform the customer as well that we have received your order okay so this product is actually owned by which particular vendor all right so here you can see this is the title basically this is the product and it is owned by pably vendor okay basically the name of the person is mr agarwal and i want to inform this person this vendor that hey your product has just got sold from my e-commerce store and this is his whatsapp number again i will replace this dummy number with my genuine whatsapp number okay now you must be thinking that how our automation will notice that this particular product is actually owned by mr agarwal and the automation has to send the notification on this whatsapp number all right so I will show you how we will create this particular scenario within this particular dashboard basically inside our public connect dashboard okay so firstly click on this plus icon and then you will have to search for the google sheets as an action step because because currently I have the whole data of the vendor into the google sheets okay so basically I am going to connect this particular spreadsheet with the public connect just like I have connected my woocommerce store with the public connect now you 
will have to search for this lookup spreadsheet row action event and then you will have to click on connect button then click on add a new connection and then by clicking on the sign in with the google you can easily provide the access of your spreadsheet account okay and this is how the connection will be made but i have already provided this connection so i will go with the existing connection and i am clicking on save and this is how the connection will be done basically my google sheet account will be connected with the pabli connect and you can also go with the existing connection if you have already provided the credentials in the first time okay now since we are connected here you can notice that whatever the spreadsheet i have created inside my google sheets account have started visible here and in this case i will select this product details spreadsheet okay so let me search for the same while well, it is already visible at the top only and in the sheet also it has got selected already automatically that is sheet 1 because i have a single sheet only in this specific spreadsheet okay now it is asking that which particular column you would like to look for okay so basically i would like to fetch the whatsapp number of the vendor who has actually owned this particular product all right so we have the product as one plus ten okay basically it is a phone okay and we also have some common value okay via which i can actually fetch the details okay basically the whatsapp number of the person okay so here i will search for the product id okay product id is a unique value and it is also available into my spreadsheet here you can see we have the product id of all the products and based on this id only i am going to fetch this particular whatsapp number okay you will have to assume that we are fetching the real whatsapp number okay so basically with the help of this id only we are going to make this lookup okay so how you can do that in the lookup column firstly you will have to specify that we are searching for the value in this e column okay so let me add the same that is e now it is asking that which particular value you are actually looking for so i am looking for the product id and don't worry i don't need to manually copy this id and paste it here because i am going to map it and mapping is very simple if you will click on this particular field you will find the above data here in the drop down so let me search for the product id all right so here we have the product id okay and now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details you will map here these details will replace automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so in next time what will happen when the customer placed a new order the id of that new order will be replaced here and this is how this lookup scenario will take place now i'll be clicking on the save and send test request button and you will see the magic that in the response it will give me all the results respective with respect to this particular product id so, okay basically it will give me the data of whole row okay so let me show you the details one by one all right so here we have the vendor name that is pabli we have the name of the person that is mr agarwal we have the email address finally we have the phone number and we have the product id the title and several other details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that our google sheets and pabli connect automation basically the connection is working fine now finally i am going to To send the WhatsApp message one to the vendor and another one to the customer. Okay, so I think I already have the number of customer. Okay, let us check where is the number. All right, so here we have the WhatsApp number of the customer. Now, as I have told you initially, that we are going to send these WhatsApp messages via this interact application. Okay, so firstly, you'll have to select this application in the action event. Then you will have to select the action event that is send WhatsApp message template. Now, simply click on connect, then click on add a new connection, and for the connection, it is asking for the secret key. Okay, so you can also visit this particular documentation. Okay, and from here exactly. Exactly, we will be copying or we will be taking our secret key. 
All right, so this is the key I have already copied. Let me paste the same and clicking on save. And this is how Interact application will be immediately connected with the Pabli Connect. Now here you can see it is asking the phone number at two different places. Okay, so why it is asking me the same thing at two different places? Okay, so before I explain you this, firstly I will show you a note which is it is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both phone number. Or or country code well it completely depends on what type of phone number you have okay so currently I have the phone number as this basically I have the country code as well as the phone number okay in that case I will be providing the phone number into this full phone number field just in case if I only had the phone number not the country code in that case I will have to provide the phone number in this field and separately I will provide the country code okay in this this case I will provide the number in this full phone number field okay so before I provide the details one by one firstly I will take you to the interact application and currently we are connecting this interact for sending the whatsapp messages to our customers informing that we have received their order okay so firstly let me take you to the dashboard all right so this is the dashboard okay and as soon as you will create an account into interact the very first thing you'll have to do is to create a new message template now you must be thinking that what is this message template okay so whenever you want to send any kind of message to your customer to your clients on whatsapp you will always have to create a new message template in order to initiate the conversation with your customers with your clients whenever you are sending the messages using official whatsapp cloud api okay once your template is created you will have to submit this template for the approval and basically the whatsapp parent company facebook is going to approve this particular template if you will get the approval then only you can send the whatsapp messages using this template otherwise you will have to wait or you will have to create the new template if your template has got rejected okay so let me show you in this particular section if i will open this active section you will notice that i have created several message templates and a lot of them are actually approved okay so basically uh, the templates marked with the green color are actually the approved one and the templates marked with the red color are actually the pending one okay let me show you these are the pending one and if you will notice some templates are actually marked with the yellow color so these are actually the pending one okay so this is how you will always have to firstly create a message template submit it for the approval and once the approval is received then only you will be able to send the message okay in this particular case i have created the message template that is order placed okay so let me first search for my message template with the name order okay i remember i have provided the name something like order placed prepaid all right for sending the messages to my customers for the order placement i have created this particular message template the name of the message template is order placed prepaid okay in this particular case i have also included the header as the text just in case if you want to include the uh, video document image into your header you can also do the same but it is completely optional it is completely up to you and in this template I have selected the language as English and from this particular section you can create your message which you would like to send to your customers and you need to create a single template only and the same message will be used for every new customer basically the details will be replaced okay whatever the values i have created in the form of variable these values will be replaced automatically okay that is why i have specifically take these values in the form of variable yes the numbers packed with the curly braces called as variables and you can add as many as variables as you want currently we are into the view mode so that is why we are not able to see those editing option if you will edit the template basically when you will create this template you will notice lot of editing or formatting options here all right so this is the message i am about to send to my customer that hello demo user or here i will add the name of the customer thank you for shopping with us and here i will add the uh, store name this is to confirm that we have received your order and here i will place the order name and the amount you may want to check our catalog check out our catalog to see other items in the store if you have any question message us here in any time all right 
so again it is completely up to you that what kind of message you would like to send to your customers and here you can notice that i have not included any footer or any button along with my message because these were completely option okay so once you will create your message template you will also have to provide the sample okay now what are the samples okay so basically you are telling the automation you are telling the system that what values will come in place of these variables okay so basically we just need to provide a dummy content as sample content and after providing the sample content you will have to submit it for the approval okay once it is approved you are actually ready to use basically your template is ready to send the whatsapp messages okay so firstly i am going to copy the code of this particular template okay and then you will have to come back to pabli connect and here it will ask you the template code name basically with which particular template you want to send the whatsapp messages okay so i have pasted the code of that template template now it is asking for the full phone number so again i will map the phone number of the customer okay so from this google sheets i will receive the data of the vendor okay but currently i am creating this interact application i am connecting this interact application for sending the messages to the customer so that is why i will be searching for the customer's whatsapp number all right so where is the phone number and here we have the billing phone number that is this okay so i have mapped it and again this number will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time also i am going to replace this number with the my genuine whatsapp number so that i can show you how messages can be sent in real time okay i will show you this live asking for the language code well if you have selected english as the language the code will be en if you have selected english us as the language the code will be en us okay in our case i have selected the language as english only so that is why en will be the language code now the most interesting part is is header value and the body variable values okay so here in the header value firstly i am going to copy the same text okay so uh, if i will provide any data manually this data will remain same and if i will provide any data with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically okay the most interesting part is the body variable values okay so from here exactly we will be specifying that what values should come in place of these variables into this message okay so firstly i will provide the value to this first number variable okay so the name of the customer should appear so let me search for the customer name that is demo okay i can also give a space and then i can map the second name also that is customer okay so now i have provided the value to the first variable now for providing the value to the second variable you will have to first put a comma okay the same has been mentioned into our description basically into our help text as well here you can notice we have two variables if we have two variables you'll have to provide the values separated by a comma okay so what exactly we have the second vari variable okay so here uh, i'll have to add the store name so i can also provide the store name manually i don't need to manual i don't need to map the store name from the above data again i have added this comma and for the third variable i'm going to provide the name of the product and then i will provide the amount of the product okay so let me search for the name of the product and i remember it was something like 1 plus 10 okay so this is the product name that is 1 plus 10 i have mapped it and lastly i will add the uh, amount okay so this is the amount again i have mapped the amount as well okay so i have provided the values to all four variables okay i'm sorry it should be variables okay and i have not added i have not included any dynamic in my url and button inside my template so i will leave these two fields blank now i am going to click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that the messages will get sent automatically on my whatsapp number only okay so i have deleted all the conversation and firstly i am going to replace this dummy number with my whatsapp number and then you will see how i will automatically receive this particular message on my whatsapp and the details will be replaced automatically okay so let me provide the same and make sure you provide the phone number into this particular format only
all right so i have provided the number clicking on this button save and send test request and you will notice that the response will be received all right so the positive response is received let me go back to my whatsapp web and here you can notice that a message is already arrived that is your order is placed hello demo customer thank you for shopping with pabli store this is to confirm that we have received your order of 1 plus 10 and the total amount is rupees 49 thousand you may want to check out our catalog to see other items in store if you have any questions message us here anytime okay so here you can notice that how the details have been replaced automatically okay so this is how this automation is going to take place okay so we are all done with the setup of whatsapp message sending for our customers now i would like to send the same kind of whatsapp messages to the vendors as well basically i am going to inform that hey a new product has got sold from our e-commerce store okay so uh, instead of doing everything from the scratch i can also copy and paste this particular step for that i'll have to click on this three dot okay simply click on this copy step and then you will have to click on this three dots once again and simply click on paste step and you will notice that the same step will be pasted here automatically so now i'm going to connect this interact with public connect for sending the messages to the vendors okay well the number will be the same because i have a single whatsapp number only to show you the examples but the template code name will be replaced okay so let me show you which particular template i have created for sending the messages to the vendor okay so let me first delete this filter so let me first refresh this template section And here you can see at the top only I have the same template that is product is sold. Okay, so as I have told you, you will have to copy the template code. And before that, let me show you the content which I am about to send. Basically, the message which I am about to send to my vendors. Okay, so I will be sending this particular text that is new product got sold. Dear, and here the vendor name will appear. Your product has got sold from our Pabli e-commerce store just now. Here are the details of the product. And here we have, here I am going to provide all the product details okay and again i have not included any footer and any button okay so i have copied the code of this template let me paste to the same that is asking for the language code again so i have included i have selected english as the language so en will be the same header value so let me delete the same and copy this particular thing and let me paste to the same now the most interesting part is again providing the value to the variables okay in place of first variable the vendor name should appear here okay so let me search for the vendor name and instead of searching for the vendor name in this WooCommerce step remember we have all the vendor details into our Google Sheets okay so here we have the vendor name that is Mr. Agarwal I will add a comma and then I will provide the value to the second variable okay so here I'll have to map the product ID the product name and the product price okay so let me map the details one by one so here I will search for the product ID that is Okay, so he, we have the product ID that is 59799. Again, I'm pressing a comma and then I will search for the product title. Alright, so I have provided the title as well. And lastly, I am going to provide the amount of this particular product. Alright, so here we have the amount of that product. I think I have provided all the details. Now, I'll be clicking on this button, save and send test request. And you will notice that on the same number, a new message will be arrived automatically. And this time, this message is actually for the vendor. Okay, currently, I have a single WhatsApp message only. So that is why I am sending these whatsapp message on the single number only but you can send these messages on two different numbers okay so this is the message that is new product got sold okay so dear mr agarwal your product has got sold from our pabli e-commerce store just now here are the details of the product which has been purchased by the customer here we have
have the product id the product name the product price and customers are liking your products you will earn a decent profit on every product sale thanks abc marketplace okay so did you notice that how i have connected two different messages for whatsapp and how at the same time both the messages are getting sent automatically one to the vendor and another one to the customer okay and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to place a new order into your e-commerce store pabli connect will instantly capture the details because the trigger here is actually instantly capture new incoming data okay and then with the help of that order id we are going to make a research in this particular spreadsheet basically we are going to look for that order id into our spreadsheet if If our automation will find that ID, it will return all the values which are actually available on this that specific row. And after that, you just need to connect Interact application with the Pabli Connect for two times, okay? One for the customer and one for the vendor, okay? And just in case, if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account, I will also attach the link into my description box, okay? So you just need to click on this link and sign up into the Pabli Connect and. And then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your public connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video